Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. It is April 1st, Saturday. Yipes, there's the money card. <laughs> okay, um, in this read, ten of, ten of Pentacles, by the way, in this read, I want to go over Ivanka and Jared. Okay, so in the last read I just did, uh, that I just posting up right now as we speak, I did a reading on Trump's spawn to get their feel on the indictment of Donald Trump. Uh, there's quotes in the newspaper from all three, uh, all three Spawn plus uh, Jared Kushner on their opinions on that. And Ivanka's was notably different than the other three people's. So um, it makes me wonder what Ivanka's up to. Now, a couple of things. Don Donald Trump has said in the past that Ivanka is most like him. So <laughs> if Donald Trump is willing to throw anybody under the bus, so is Ivanka. Sorry. And the uh, uh, the second thing was um, it, I, uh, Ivanka has uh, back with the inaugural fund, like millions of dollars went missing, and Ivanka was in charge of the inaugural fund, which means that as the feds investigate that, and they have investigated that, and I haven't seen any charges come out of that, um, she's the one that's going to be holding the bag on that. So you can imagine there might be a little bit of leverage going on with her. And in her reading, you know, the ten, the uh, Ten of Pentacles came up, which is protecting money and legacies and such. So it wouldn't surprise me if Ivanka is turning state's evidence in order to protect herself. Now, the question is, is she doing it with Jared <laughs> or is she going to turn him over too? So let's first ask Ivanka and Jared. Her... Uh, have they been working? What's their plan with all the legal peril that Donald Trump Jr. Donald Trump Sr. is facing? What is Ivanka and Jared's plan? What are they doing? What are they thinking? Okay, entertainment purposes only. But here we go. Okay, Queen of Wands. So they're coming up with an action plan, and it's probably her coming up with an action plan. And we're going to balance it with the Death card because it's the it's going to be the end of. The way, they, the way things used to be uh, running for them, it's over. This is the end of that cycle. They know that what worked in the past isn't going to work going forward. So how do you change what you're doing in, in, to enact your plan? So there's going to be big decisions coming on here with the two of them. All right. In the past, Ace of Wands. Okay, so they talked about or they came up with a plan and they've already put this plan into action. And that plan going forward, notice notice they've been lying really low. You haven't heard from either one of them. They, left, they were the first ones to leave the White House. Um, I think, um, and I believe that was before the January 6th stuff. They, they wanted no part of that. They got out of Dodge as fast as they could. And in my previous reading, uh, the Wheel of Fortune came up. So I think she saw what was coming and they got out and then they came up with a plan to protect themselves. And there's the protecting yourselves, protecting their freedom and their money. That's what they're currently doing now. They're holding on tight. They're, you know, they're just holding on and they don't want to lose everything that they have gotten <laughs> illegally or not. They're trying to hold on to their freedom. They're trying to hold on to their money and hold on to their Reputations, popularity, whatever. They're holding on though. Overall, Ace of Cups. Strong emotional time, fearful time. They are scared. They are running scared and emotions are high, probably in the whole family. The you know, everybody in that family, there's just the immediate family. We can leave uh Tiffany out of this. We can leave uh uh this uh, Baron out of this and probably can leave Melania out of this, but amongst the piranhas, <laughs> this is not good times. I'm sure that they are, uh, they are just anxious beyond belief and they're fearful. They wonder if they've done enough and they probably also miss the way that things used to be. This could also be, you know, the daddy daughter card too. I miss my daddy. I liked it better when he was my daddy and I was his daughter, but it could also be that um, 
<clears throat> you can think of that, uh, that cup there. Think of that cup as passing information. And, you know, before we were daddy and daughter, and then this is the daughter now has the, the, the flower and she's going to turn around and give that flower to somebody else so that they can use it against the dad. Uh, and, you know, that Ace of Cups could very well be she's afraid he's going to find out. She's fearful, but I think it's more they're fearful for themselves. Um, outcome is the Ten of Cups, the Happy Family card. I don't think anybody would ever describe the the Trump spawn as being happy. So I think this is being done to protect her family, her and her husband and her kids. So I keep saying her. I mean, this was supposed to be a review of Jared and Ivanka. And I think they're trying to protect their family and it's awfully hard work. This is not this is not going to be easy because it's going to be betrayal of, of family members. But this is again kind of one of those uh, one of those things where I've got a plan. This is the end. We you know it's every man. This is every man for himself, <laughs> and it's the Queen of Wands, so it's a woman. <laughs> you men are all for yourselves. I, I'm over here. Came up with an idea, put it to work. I the the goal or right now is to hold on to what they've got. They're running scared. And probably getting information from her dad and then turning that information over or giving that information to, to government entities to protect their family. That's okay. So that's my guess as to what their uh, what their plan is. They're, they're protecting themselves. And again, it, that, that wouldn't surprise me a little bit. This is not a family that's going to uh, go down together. They are going to splinter apart and it's going to literally be every man for themselves <clears throat> okay so let's ask two questions one ivanka these are both ivanka questions we don't really care about jared do we ivanka did you turn over evidence on your father for either this manhattan case the Letitia James. I don't think she's so worried about the Letitia James. It's a civil case. I mean, she's worried about that too because it takes away the Trump money, but she and her husband have money. So she's going to be more worried about, um, well, again, the government's going to be coming after her. So it's going to be the feds. And the feds aren't going to look in this case. So we're going to be looking at the Georgia case and the insurrection case would be more the things that they're going to lean on her because she would have information about the events leading up to that so um so kind of focus on that don't worry so much about stormy daniels and uh the campaign finance fraud case um it, you know uh, and it's not so much the letitia james case because those aren't federal letitia james isn't federal is she i don't think so i think that's a state case also but the federal cases the feds got stuff on her so they can lean on her did you turn over evidence? <laughs> she wonders if she gave enough evidence. There's the, the evaluation card, uh, seven of coins. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Yep, working. This one came up for Jared too. Um, okay, so we have the eight of coins, working, 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 uh, working on making money and working on items. And then there's the Queen of Swords. Anyway, these cards are coming up again. Okay, so um, basically, I think this is about money and a hard decision that needed to be made. Do I like my money or do I like my family? What a tough decision. Emotionless decision. What would be the emotionless decision to make on something like this? I'm already leaning yes. I probably don't have to throw any more cards, but let's go ahead and do it anyways. In the past, we've got the dark money, the money behind the, the group work, the money behind the scenes. I think um, this is probably the discussions uh, with the government about the money that she embezzled from the, uh, the inaugural fund. And it's kind of like the, we've got you dead to rights on this one. And it's no quid pro quo. How about that? That's quid pro quo card. So we've got something on you. What can you give us? And we'll just pretend that this never happened. It just came up. It's the gift that keeps giving. 
What can I give you? I can give you information on my father. I can give you stuff, dirt on my father, dirt and the flowers, and you can bury him and then put this calla lily on his grave. So yeah, all right, so far, yeah. Giving evidence, giving evidence and giving evidence. Overarching energy, six of pentacles, again, you know, another card of quid pro quo type of thing, but also trying to protect their finances and giving what she can. And, you know, here we go. Here's the information I'm giving up. How much do you need? I will give you everything you need so I can keep my coins. Oh, dear. She's ruthless. She is like him. Yeah. But you know what? You deserve that. The uh, lesson to be learned, it's a nightmare. It, this has been you know, torturous. Uh, and I don't really think of it as torturous. Maybe she loves her dad and it's really hard to do that to, to your father. If you really love your father and, you know, we've got to potentially accept the fact that she does love her dad and she's betraying him. You know, she is just absolutely turning his butt over lock, stock and barrel. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be a mess. Where's my Ace of Cups? I'd be a mess if I had to do that to my dad. No, he's my dad is is past, but that would be awful. Can you imagine? But we don't necessarily always uh, ascribe uh, uh, sympathetic, empathetic, kind feelings for this family because again, they're a bunch of piranhas and sharks. They're not. They're not very. They don't come across as kind. I can't imagine they're a warm, loving family. But she was Danny's girl, and coming forward with a plan and moving forward with that plan. So, yeah, um, I'm I'm pretty darn sure that it caused her a little bit of stress. But she's, yeah, the two of them have come up with a plan and they're moving forward with that plan. <sighs> two of Pentacles, juggling. You know, trying, you know, we didn't get the spy in the camp, but this is also juggling, um, uh, juggling being giving enough, get, getting information and then giving out that information, being supportive without uh, being overly supportive. You know, try again, trying to walk that line in this topsy-turvy world that, that they're living in there. So has she turned over state's evidence on her dad? Yeah, she has. That's, that's my, for entertainment purposes only, that's my guess from these cards. And it's been... Uh, it's been interesting. Now, also, now, there's a two of pentacles there. Is she turning it over on more than one person? Now, there's something to think about, right? You know. Or, you know what? I'll bet you it's two cases. That there you go. It's going to be two. It's the two cases, right? Each the pentacles relating to the information that she has available. One for the insurrection. The other one probably for the Georgia calls or if there's some other investigation that we don't know about. So, you know, it could be the, the Georgia, it could be the, um, the insurrection is the one case that she's giving the most information on and the uh, campaign and the, um, the inaugural ball fund and all that money missing is the other one. So, you know, she's giving up the information Maybe other people will be arrested or or, or uh, charged with uh, with that, and she'll be like you know, a star witness or something like that for the state. But she's giving over evidence to uh, to uh, the feds. Is my guess on her father. Okay, is she giving evidence on Jared? Throw four Carters on this one. Has Ivanka betrayed Jared? Has she t tossed her husband under the bus? I mean, did Donald teach her well? Did Donald teach her that you don't trust anyone, not even your husband, not even your wife? Did she throw Jared under the bus? Did she turn over information? Fool. Foolish, foolish person out in the cold. Here's that card again, working, working with that information. Mommy's got to protect the babies. Mommy's got to keep her monies. Daddy's out the door because mommy's got the monies. 
Mommy's gonna be on her own. Mommy might, mommy might take a, a, a trip and never come back. If she turns evidence on her, on her husband, uh, uh, she's planning on going it alone. Now it could be that they come together with some plan and um, as a way to prevent themselves from being destitute, but it wouldn't surprise me that uh, Jared might be in some trouble too. It could be that Jared's in so much trouble that she's just got to cut bait and fish on. You know what I mean? Because he, he might be implicated with the Kasoji murders and she just can't save him from that. So the next thing you do is you save your family, you save your kids and you, you're on the, you're on the run from, from that to, you know, that five of pentacles is protecting yourself from ruin. And you've got the government window right behind you. That'll bail you out. Okay. Did she turn on junior? There's the dark money in the background. No talking with people. Yep. Illusions and delusions, seeing the good stuff, judgment, ace of swords. Yeah, she told the truth. She, um, whatever was happening with, with, uh, with Junior, yeah, she's, she's blown the whistle on him. Um, you know, this is just, again, this is, this is just saving, saving yourself. And just, here you go. Here's what you want to know. And there's the government underneath it. So, yeah, I think Junior's in trouble. I wouldn't doubt for a second that uh, she's she's t uh, turned on her brother. And what about Eric? Almost would seem cruel to turn over on Eric, wouldn't it? Sometimes there's something to be said for keeping a low profile. Something to be said for keeping a low profile and just, you know, just working behind the scenes and not calling a lot of attention to yourself. But that's not what the Trumps do. What did she do with Eric? Shining light. Maybe guiding him out of there. Lying low. Going forward with uh, a message or information. And the death card, um, and the hanged man. Okay, so if my thought is, if they needed information, if it was necessary for her to give more information, and they needed Eric too, she'll throw him under the bus as well. Um, the information she probably has on Eric isn't as much. You know, he's you know he's kind of a simple guy. Uh, and you know he's of the two don jr was the one who was out more doing stuff so um it might be that again i think what it is is that if they needed information on eric she could go forward with it but they haven't asked and she's not going to volunteer she's just going to lay low and not volunteer that stuff if they need it they need it but if they need it it's going to be his undoing okay so she is queen shark for the day and a family of, of sharks. She's the queen. Okay. Um, for entertainment purposes only and all that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'm glad I'm not related to anybody in that family. I don't care how much money they had, have, or will have. I wouldn't want family members like that. I'd rather be dirt poor myself, but Hey, that's just me. I don't have my own helicopter and you know apartment penthouse on the, uh, in Manhattan or anything along those lines. So, yeah, maybe I just don't know what I'm missing. But I think I have a pretty good idea. And hope you do too. Um, do all the YouTube -y things if you like the video. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great night.